You know, they say to teach is to learn, and it's really true. I learned so much from them. Watching them grow and watching them flourish and watching them discover, and knowing that maybe you just had a tiny part of that. Lauren, Dawn's youngest daughter, was more than a constant source of joy. She was a daily marvel. The last vision I have of her, she poked her head in the car. She said, Mom, I love you. See you later. There was something going on at Columbine. Then they said that a shot had been fired. So I thought, okay, I'm going to the school and I'm getting her out of there. One shot fired is one shot too many. When night came, they couldn't give us any kind of confirmation, but yet the confirmation was it was nightfall and my daughter was not there. Our hearts just sank. Uh, still held out hope that she was okay. I know now she is okay. You know, she's just okay in a different place. Lauren was gone, but her spirit was everywhere. It intensified her teammates' unity, and it lured Dawn Anna back to Columbine High. The gym is an easier place for me to be in than other parts of the school, for obvious reasons. The gym exudes life. The love that you saw in those kids' eyes for Dawn, um, you understand what an impact she had on all of their lives. In honor of her life and her love of volleyball, we are retiring the number eight from the volleyball program. We love you, Lauren. Lauren's in every one of those faces. Their eyes, their smiles, like my own daughter looking right back at me. It really doesn't enter my head that there's another option than to just push through and just be positive and keep moving. You might take a step back one day as long as you're taking two forward the next. It's okay, that's progress.